Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we will discuss the quotient rule of derivatives. But first, recall muna natin yung mga previous basic rules of derivatives. Meron tayong constant rule. So, if f of x is equal to c, then f prime of x is equal to 0. And we have also the power rule. If f of x is equal to x raised to n, then f prime of x is equal to n x raised to n raised to n minus 1. And we have the constant multiple rule. So if your x, if f of x is equal to c times h of x, then f prime of x is equal to c times the derivative of h of x, or our c is the constant. The derivative of a sum or a difference, if f of x is equal to g of x plus minus h of x, then f prime of x is equal to g prime of x plus minus h prime of x. And the derivative of sine and cosine function, if f of x is equal to sine x, then f prime of x is equal to cosine x. And if f of x is equal to cosine x, then f prime of x is equal to negative sine x. And also the derivative of exponential and logarithmic function, if f of x is equal to e raised to x, then f prime of x is equal to e raised to x. Same lang sila. And if your f of x is equal to a raised to x, then f prime of x is equal to a raised to a x, l, and a, where a is greater than 0. And then, if your f of x is equal to l and x, then the f prime of x is equal to 1 over x. If f of x is equal to the logarithm of x with base a, then f prime of x is equal to 1 over x, l, and a, where a is greater than 0. And the product rule, so where your uh, f of x times g of x, that is equal to f of x times g prime of x plus g of x times f prime of x. So for this video, uh, we're going to focus on the quotient rule of derivatives. So let u and v be a function of x. So d over dx times u over v is equal to v times the derivative of u minus u times the derivative of v all over v squared. Or, pwede rin na ito yung gagamitin natin. If our h of x is equal to f of x over g of x, then the derivative of h of x is g of x times f prime of x minus f of x times g prime of x all over g of x squared. So, as you can see, class, uh, in the product rule, addition yung ginamit natin sa quotient rule, subtraction. So, for example, meron tayong x squared. If your f of x is equal to x squared plus 3, all over 5x plus 4. So, yung numerator natin, so, uh, i-write natin as u. No? Yung numerator natin, x squared plus 3. Then, kunin natin yung derivative ng u. And that is 2x kasi yung exponent natin is 2. So, apply lang natin yung mga previous na basic rules ng derivatives. So, 2 times x, that is 2x. And then yung denominator natin, that is our v. Okay, so 5x plus 4. Then kunin natin yung derivative ng v natin. So, that is 5. So, sundan lang natin yung formula nito or this one. So, susundan lang natin. So, unang gagawin, multiply natin ito saka i-minus natin dito all over sa squared ng v natin. Okay? So, 5x plus 4 times 2x minus x squared plus 3 times 5 all over so yung value ng v natin. That is the squared of 5x plus 4. And then simplify, multiply 5x times 2x, that is 10x squared, 4 times 2x, that is 8x, positive 8x, minus, so if we're going to multiply in this one, so lalagyan natin ng open and close parentheses. Okay? Kasi magbabago tayo ng sign dyan. So, x squared times 5, that is 5x squared, 
3 times 5 that is positive 15 and i-distribute natin yung negative sign dito sa loob so magiging copy 10x squared plus 8x so magiging negative 5x squared negative times positive magiging negative 15 and then combine similar terms so 10x squared minus 5x squared that is positive 5x squared copy 8x and copy negative 15 all over 5x plus 4 squared. So, this will be the final answer. So, ito na yung derivative ng x squared plus 3 over 5x plus 4. So, another example. So, f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 4 all over 5x squared minus 3x plus 2. So, again, yung numerator natin. So, yan yung u natin. So, kung ito yung gagamitin natin formula class, yung uh, numerator natin, that is our f of x. Tapos yung denominator natin, that is our g of x. And then, kunin natin yung derivative ng u natin. So, that is 2 times 3, that is 6x. And then, yung v natin, 5x squared minus 3x plus 2. Kunin natin yung derivative nito, ng v natin. So, 2 times 5, that is 10. 10x minus 3. And then, apply the formula. So, imumultiply natin yung v dito sa derivative ng u. So, 5x squared minus 3x plus 2 times 6x minus 3x squared plus 4 times 10x minus 3. All over, so yung value ng v natin, that is the quantity of 5x squared minus 3x plus 2 squared. Then, multiply 5x squared times 6x, that is 30x cubed. Negative 3x times 6x, that is negative 18x squared. Negative 3x times 6x, that is uh, positive 2 times 6x, that is 12x minus. So, again, lalagyan natin ng open and close parenthesis ito dahil mababago yung sign. So, 3x squared times 10x, that is 30x cubed. 3x squared times negative 3, that is negative 9x squared. 4 times 10x, that is positive 40x. 4 times negative 3, that is negative 12, all over the quantity of 5x squared minus 3x plus 2 squared. So, and then, uh, distribute the negative sign dito sa loob ng parenthesis natin. So, 30x cubed minus 18x squared plus 12x, negative 30x cubed, so negative times negative, that is positive 9x squared, negative times positive 40x, uh, that is negative 40x, negative times uh, negative 12, that is positive 12, and copy the denominator. And then, uh, kung may cancel tayo, cancel natin, then combine similar terms. So, makakancel natin yung 30x cubed and negative 30x cubed. So, ang may iwan na lang. So, yung negative 18x squared plus 9x squared, that is negative 9x squared. 12x minus 40x, that is negative 28x plus 12. All over uh, the quantity of 5x squared minus 3x plus 2 squared. Another example, we have uh, f of x is equal to sine x over x. So, kagaya kanina, sa pagkuha ng derivative ng sine x, pinakita natin sa first slide. Okay, so yung numerator natin is yung u natin. So, kunin natin yung derivative ng sine x and that is cosine x. And then, yung v natin is x. So, pagkukunin natin yung derivative ng x, that is 1. And apply the formula. So, x times cosine x minus sin x times 1 all over so yung value ng v natin that is x squared so x times cosine x minus sin x times 1 that is sin x all over x squared so ito na yung final answer natin and for example number 4 we have x uh, raised to the fourth power all over x raised to x e raised to x rather. So, yung numerator natin, x to the fourth power. So, kukunin natin uh, yung derivative ng u natin. That is 4x cubed. And then, yung denominator natin, yung e raised to x. 
So kung kukunin natin yung derivative niyan, yun pa din. No? Kapag eh, kinukuha natin yung derivative ng e raised to x natin, uh, yun pa din yung derivative niya. And then apply the formula. So x uh, e raised to x times 4x cubed minus x to the fourth power times e raised to x all over. So kung ano yung value ng v natin? Squared. And then multiply. Uh, that is e raised to x times 4x cubed. So the answer is 4x cubed e raised to x minus x to the fourth power times e raised to x. That is x uh, minus x to the fourth e raised to x all over. So copy lang natin yung denominator natin. So dito pwede tayo ma, since may common factor sila, yung common factor nila is x cubed and then e raised to x, pwede natin i-factor yung numerator natin. So, 4x cubed, e raised to x, divide uh, x cubed, e raised to x, so maiwan na lang 4. Ito, pag dinivide natin dito, so maiwan na lang is uh, negative x. Okay, so kasi uh, x to the 4 to, so pag dinivide natin, may maiwan pang isang x. And then after that, uh, copy lang din natin yung denominator natin. So, ito pwede natin makancel to. So, we have e raised to x squared. So, magiging ano na lang itong denom uh, denominator natin. Magiging e raised to x na lang. So, sa numerator, ang maiwan na lang, x cubed times the quantity of 4 minus x. And for the last example, we have... Uh, Uh, f of x is equal to 4x cubed minus 2 over x squared minus 5x plus 1. So, yung u natin dito, yung numerator natin, 4x cubed minus 2, and kunin lang natin yung derivative niya. So, 4x cubed minus 2, that is 3 times 4, so 12x squared. And yung v natin, x squared minus 5x plus 1. So, kapag kukunin natin yung derivative ng v natin, so, that is 2 times x. So, that is 2x minus 5. And then, apply the formula. So, ito multiply natin yung v natin sa derivative ng u. So, x squared minus 5x plus 1 times 12x squared minus 4x cubed minus 2 times 2x minus 5 all over yung value ng v natin then squared. So, multiply x squared times 12x squared. So, that is 12x to the fourth power. Negative 5x times 12x squared. That is negative 60x cubed. 1 times 12x squared. That is 12x squared. Minus. So, lagyan ulit natin ng parenthesis dito. So, 4x cubed times 2x. That is 8x to the fourth. 4x cubed times negative 5. That is negative 20x cubed. Negative 2 times 2x, that is negative 4x. Negative 2 times negative 5, that is positive 10. All over, uh, kung ano yung, uh, yung denominator natin, ikakapi lang natin. And then, uh, distribute natin yung negative sign dito sa loob ng parenthesis. Iko-combine natin yung similar terms. So, 12x to the 4th power minus 8x to the 4th, that is 4x to the 4th na lang. Negative 60x cubed plus 20x cubed, so that's negative 40x cubed. 12x squared, so copy lang natin yan. Copy rin yung positive 4x. And then copy rin yung negative 10. And then all over, uh, the quantity of x squared minus 5x plus 1 squared. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.